So we're running everything through a 20 mesh. This is left over from this year. And stuff I don't even know where it comes from. <laughs> so keep this in a separate pan over there for later. This will pour off and run through the mini. Out some air bubbles here. And I got the flow adjusted. This is the new mini adapter, and I just got this cut back just a little bit, and it seems to be about the right flow. We'll see what the new vortex is doing. Here. A lot of gold showing up right away. Lots of black sand in here. That first riffle is just about full, but it's still displacing. Ooh, you can start to see the gold in that first. Yeah.
looks like pretty rich stuff. This was uh, for the last couple of days. Uh, probably a hundred pails of concentrate. And a little bit was left in the snuffer bottle, so I have no idea. See if I can rinse this out. Lots in the pan. One big flake went by. Texas are filling right up. That's looking really good. Look at this, John. Do yeah. the new adapter works great? Mm-hmm. And what these are in addition to each. Right? They're ordered separately? Yeah. Well, we're going to start um, selling these for whoever wants them anywhere. Um, where before we're only offering them with the sluice, just because of the shipping costs. So we'll be starting out here uh, shortly. We found a new way of manufacturing them, so we're able to provide them, right? Yeah. So yeah, look at these top ones there. They're uh, moving out all the black sands. Keep blocking the light. Yeah, you might not come out this way.
There's a couple made it way down here, but that's uh, that's okay. You don't lose a thing and, and rerun it. But an odd stack will float down there. But, uh, usually when we check our tailings, it's close to 99.9%. So. Okay, we'll dump it in the pan and see what we got. Okay, this is a Milwaukee M18 volt 5 ampere battery. And it's going to the speed controller. But I got a quick connect here for my pump. So the idea is this I can control the speed finally of this sluice. So my trick is just to flip this around and then have the water speed that I need. So we'll just carefully flip this around. And just get any speed I want here. The gold stuck. Yeah, and if I had a decent brush, I could brush that out. Quite a bit up in that little way up in the top there. There's a halo. Um, get most of it. Without the variable speed controller, I was always afraid to flip this because then you got full flow and gold going everywhere. So. There's still some stuff in there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, we'll pan that out. So the total from the fall trip was 26.16 grams and it took about 100 man hours to produce. At the time when we harvested it, gold was $2,600 an ounce Canadian, working out to an average wage of about $22 an hour, paid by Mother Nature instead of a job, playing around in one of the most beautiful landscapes on earth. Like usual, we got most of it in the last few days, and we left many ounces behind that were indicated and outlined by our, by our test pans. Although we wanted to stay longer, it was time to head home. We could have got a lot more gold, but I think when you're doing this, you have to strike a healthy balance between work and play. The physical work can be very exhausting, but if you chip away at it and strive to do things a little bit efficiently, then you can still produce a lot of flower gold from once marginal deposits. It isn't really possible to work a solid 12 hour shift shoveling and hauling gravel even if you're Superman, but 3 to 4 hours a day is a comfortable rate for most normal people I think. If someone were to go with the intention of genuinely working their butt off, I think you could easily get an ounce a week in most of these areas uh, with a little bit of flower gold and a two man crew. Those are the sorts of rates that I think change the viability of the hobby. With everything that's happened the past year and a half, a lot of folks have lost their jobs and the governments of the world are printing enormous amounts of money, which is directly inflationary and supports the price of gold. I think this underpinning makes a gold rush even more likely and the proposition of making some supplemental income from just having fun in nature and being independent of all that is really attractive. Considering all the gold we showed here, this is all found on a $100 gold claim. I hope this helps illustrate some of the growing potential of this emerging modern gold rush driven by flower gold. If anyone wants a Devon Gold VDR mini sluice or a mat for a wash plant or hype anchor, they are available at infinityprospecting.com. Thanks for watching. To infinity and beyond!